timing couldn't be better. We've got a program lined up for tomorrow night. I'm sure we could squeeze another fight under the card. This is one off, all right? That's that's all. Is it true? Did you throw the card I made you in the rubbish bin? Oi, Campbell, I think your girlfriend's waiting for an answer. Oh, she's not my girlfriend, all right? What? And yes, I threw your stupid card in the bin, Melody. You happy now? Jeffy, that is oh, well, Swingy's back off and quit stalking me. All right, everyone, the show is over. You're just as shallow and superficial as all the other jerks at school. Except you're more weak and gutless. I feel kind of guilty. Almost like I've done something to be ashamed of. Whatever it is, it's important that you don't try to keep it hidden or block it out. Whatever you were arguing about, he is going to remember it sooner or later. Then I'll deal with it when the time comes. Well, if you ever need any help or want someone to talk to... Thanks, but I know how to look after my son. We belong together forever and ever I've got anything better to do with my time. Oh, yeah, sound too unhappy about that. Oh, well, I wish things could have worked out at the paper, but I just don't think I was cut out to be a journalist. Well, I think you're very brave. Most people would hang in there even if it wasn't making them happy. Mm. And you know I want you to come work with me. Oh, well, I had a great conversation with Irene last night, and she's cool with it. Really? Yeah, I can start whenever you like. Oh, this is perfect. The kids are going to love you. Oh, and I've finally come up with a name. Oh, great, what is it? OK, be honest if you don't like it. Mm -hmm. Identity Crisis. It's a play on Dan's name. Identity. Is it of identity? Well, it's, it's not really a crisis centre, though, is it? Well, it's somewhere safe for them to hang out, a place they can call their own. Well, I've got another choice. What about Identity Club? What? Well, it's just, it's not cool. Uh, well, it's, um... Hey! Hey, why didn't you come for a swim before? No, oh, I just didn't feel like it. It's on. He's having a bit of a bad day. I should probably go keep him company. Yeah, sure. Oh, if you can later, can you help me set up the PCs? Yeah, sure. After lunch? Great. Great. See ya. I think Identity Crisis is a lovely name. I just wanted to come up with something the kids could relate to. I don't want to live in a war zone, so you and Annie better sort this out. Oh, well, it's kind of hard when she won't even talk to me. She's too busy sticking up for Melody. Well, then talk to Melody again. Tell her you didn't mean to be such a shallow jerk. It just came out that way. I never wanted to hurt her. Well, you shouldn't let her think she was your girlfriend. Well, I tried setting her straight, but nothing I said made any difference. Anyway, aren't you meant to be visiting Rory with her and Annie today? Annie and Melody don't want me to come. <laughs> wow, you really are in the doghouse, aren't you? You know, Bill, if you're trying to make me feel worse, you're doing a pretty good job at it. Hey, guys. What's up? Jeff here is feeling sorry for himself. <laughs> Oh, come on. I'm only joking. He's messed things up with the girl, Melody. And you're giving him a hard time about and it? I am just teasing him. Don't you know the male ego is a fragile thing? Well, maybe he should talk to a guy about this stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't even sort out my own life, let alone someone else's. He lives in a house full of women. He needs a male point of view. <laughs> now I know what Jeff's going through. So you help him? No, I think I'll leave the teen ex to Leah next door. You know, she came up with a name. Uh, yeah, she told me last night. Didn't know what to say either. She was so excited. Uh, all right, I'll make you a deal. I'll talk to Jeff if you get Leah to change the name. Deal? Deal. I did not know spending money was going to be this much fun. New telly, new sound system, new Barbie. And there is so much more to come. I could definitely get used to it. So, mate, I'll, I'll fix you up with my share of stuff just as soon as I can, OK? Rick, don't you worry about it. You get a job when you're good and ready. Yeah, you know what? I've got a feeling something's going to come along pretty soon. Yeah, of course it will. And in the meantime, to pay Miles back, you could just do the dishes every night. There is a thinker right no, there. No, don't encourage... What, whose side are you on? Yours, and you know it. All right, we've got to try and think where we're going to put all this new stuff. Ruby Sal. It's mine too. Yeah, it's Sally. Landed in Phuket, so beautiful, warm and sunny. Cassie and Pippa send their love, miss you all. Oh. Sounds like they're having a good time. Yeah, of course they are. They're in Phuket. It'd be amazing. Uh. 
I might just check that he's alright. I know setting up the barbie is a bit of a guy thing, but do you want a hand? Uh, I will be fine. You sure? Yeah. I was just thinking, I don't know, it might be a bit hard for you knowing that Sal and Cass are over there. Actually, you know what? I'm OK. I mean, thinking about Lou and Amber is always going to make me feel... But knowing Sal's out there on the beach saying her prayer for them kind of makes me feel like I'm there, you know? What do you think I was going to think about this uh, barbecue? This is what I don't get about you guys. Why do you obsess about this stuff? Matilda, this is deep in our DNA. Cavemen, fire... We just... we can't help it. You know, that's a bit sad, right? Yeah. What's sad? Apart from Bambi. Bambi's very sad, Rick. You all right? Oh, I don't think it's easy for him, but yeah, he seems to be. Maybe we should fire up this and have a couple of people over to keep him company. Oh, well, I mean, I just got a, a text from Drew and uh, I think he feels bad about not catching up when he was in town. Really? Yeah, he um, he wants to meet in the city, you know. A bit of a guy's not trying to patch things up. Oh, okay. Are you going to get the bus? Yeah. Oh, well, say hi to him for me. Yeah, I will. Well, look, I'd invite you along. I mean, it's just, we're just probably going to talk about cars and mm -mm. have a few beers. Nothing full on, you don't have to worry. We're not going to get up to it. You don't have to justify yourself. Unless I should be worried. What do you think? That I trust you and that I think it's sweet that you care what I think. Mwah. <laughs>